good deal. Welcome back to a brand new discussion video. This time on my thoughts and opinions on the new on the news that came out that Funimation has agreed to be acquired, well at least 95% of it, by Sony Pictures Television Networks. Yeah, I know. I'm grabbing late on this party. This came out like uh, what was it, a few days ago to a week ago. I mean, but yeah, I'm finally getting around to it. And I would like to give you guys my thoughts and opinions. So I got the article right up here on the Funimation's website. So I'm going to read it to you as an excuse, and I'll leave a link to the article in the description box below if you want to follow along or read for yourself. Excuse any, if I stutter a lot or anything, I, I suck at reading. So yeah. Alright, it says, Founder Gen Fukunaga, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, correct me if I'm wrong, started Funimation with the vision and mission to make a, to make anime as, a, as uh, accessible as possible to fans across the world. In the 23 years since the years we have, since we begun, we began, we have committed to creating anime experiences for the fans love, from, from bringing Dragon Ball to the U.S., you know, the, uh, to bringing the best anime to home, home video and theaters, a simul dose that brings em Emerson's English fit to fans within two weeks after after they air in Japan. Don't know why two weeks, but whatever. <laughs> the largest dub streaming catalog on Funimation now. Today we announced that Funimation has acquired to sell to sell a a substantial majority stake to Sony Pictures Television Network. They bought about they have they now own like ninety five percent of the company. Only like only five like percent again Fukunaga. <laughs> Ooh, Sony. Uh, all right. Um, Sony, Sony Pictures TV Network, SPTN, is one of the premier names in entertainment, sharing our vision to deliver anime to fans globally across the screen, all screens and platforms. Read additional details, press release here. What's this? Oh, it leaks, oh, no. <laughs> leaks me to uh, Sony's website about, you know, that whole thing, but whatever. I'm not reading that. <clears throat> Yeah, and here is some, you know, and here are some FAQs. So I'm gonna read that, then I'll tell you guys like my whole thoughts, you know, like what I hope to see and what I don't hope to see uh, from this new buy. Um, will the Funimation team change? Someone uh, this now I'm on their FAQs. It says currently, our, and the answer with are currently our plans of Funimation to operate as it has today. Gen will remain CEO, and the team will continue to uh, will continue to deliver the best anime experience as we can can to you. Is the partnership merge? Is this a partnership, merge, or, uh, or an acquisition? Funimation has agreed to sell to sell a, subsidiary, a substantial majority stake to Sony Pictures. So, really, I don't really give a an answer to that question. Um, how is this acquired acquisition related to Aniplex? The transit does not involve Aniplex. And what they mean by that is, as you guys know, Aniplex loves overpricing their blood. Now, I would say that Aniplex has gotten a little bit better at this. Because, um, if you check, actually, Blue Exorcist Season 2, I know, some of the Aniplex is going to be selling. They're only charging $60 a piece for those Blu-rays, which is a lot better than they would price for these seasons. If you saw how much those Season 1 Blu-rays cost, you will be up all bad for I mean, I think uh, charging $9 for like, the SAO Blu-rays, I mean, the edition ones are enough, but they were charging those things $130 a piece. Yeah. So, and... Now, I would say they're getting a little better because they're charging me $60 for, you know, um, um, you know, uh, Blue Ocean Season 2, which I'm looking forward to picking up those, up those Blu-rays, but then again, you look at how much they're charging for, like, the complete series of both, um, Season, uh, Season 1 of Store Online, as well as, um, Season 1 Blu-ray, which are charging $150 for the, uh, $150 a piece, which, granted, in the grand scheme, when you compare the $150 you're paying for the whole series, compare the price of the uh, charging for the, you know, the two Blu-rays that they leave for Blue Ocean Season 2, I feel like that's a fair deal, but then again, it's $150. I say those things that's a little much. $100, maybe. But yeah. And that's what they mean by it. Plus, I mean, so yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah, let's hope they don't... I hope Funimation doesn't, like, you know, ludicrously, ludicrously overpriced. But I feel like they're like the only company out there that's, and, you know, that's dubbing and releasing Blu-rays here in the States is Funimation. Because, well, Sentai Films work isn't as well. I would say Sentai Films is almost just as bad, if not slightly worse. Than you know, Aniplex. and what I mean by that, if you look at some of the uh, prices that they offer for, because you know, um, because you know, Fate Stay Night, the original series, don't quote me on this because I haven't checked the price on that. They're charging the whole series complete on Blu-ray for they're charging thing like for like eighty dollars, sixty dollars, eighty, like seventy dollars. They're charging like seventy dollars for that thing, like seventy dollars. Uh, there's some of the other Blu-ray prices are kind of and love and love story. They're charging and it's keep and for my love story, an anime that they're just it's just a regular Blu-ray, you know. Blue case, that's a no special feature, no, you know, bonus shit, nothing besides, you know, whatever the bonus features are. They're charging $80 for that fucking thing. Yes, $80. Even any price isn't that ludicrous. I would at least give you enough, a lot of shit with it. But yeah. 
Okay, let's go on to the next one. Will this delay the release of any content? There will be no... This will not impact the simultaneous home video release and the, our theatrical schedules. Okay? Will this... Will this... Will this... Will this... Will this will, second reading. Will this affect the production or quality of dubs coming from Funimation? Funimation was a, will always strive to honor the intent of Japanese creators in our products. Uh, in our products, there, there, yeah, there will be no change in our transition and translation, script writing, voice acting, production staff. We will keep our, we will keep our production fil uh, facilities in Texas, and we will, and we can continue to bring simul dubs to you within two weeks of Japanese broadcast dates. Uh, next one they ask is, does this mean Funimation will be buying more or less anime? Funimation will remain, <clears throat> excuse me, Funimation will remain committed to bringing you the biggest and best English dubs, uh, English dub anime library, along with new seasons of dub, simul dubs within two weeks of Jack Bar. So they're saying that, that, so, I mean, I guess with this buyout, they mean they're probably not going to get you less anime. If anything, they're probably going to get more. So, you know, they can, they can start competing with, you know, uh, Netflix and Amazon. Because if you've seen Amazon, Netflix can pick up a lot of shit. I mean, any, I mean, um, at, you know, guys on Netflix, they, they picked up, you know, Fate Apocrypha and Kakagururi. And we're not getting Fate Apocrypha until, like, you know, November like November of this year. And, and from Kakagururi, we're not getting that until, that, that till, like, you know, 2018. For some reason, and you know, um, and and uh, and um, uh, Amazon with Amazon, like they picked up a lot. Of shit. They picked up um, uh, Princess Principal and a lot of other ones. I can't really name any other one off the top of my head. But yeah, they definitely have Princess Principal. And next one, okay. How will this affect the fun? My Funimation Now subscription, Funimation Now services remain the same. There will be no change in your subscription terms, pricing, or content availability. Okay. Does this mean Funimation content will be available on Crackle or PlayStation View? Uh, we have always tried to make our content as accessible as as well as possible our fans, and will continue to do so. This does not change the Funimation now. So, um, so yeah, uh, I, I would actually like to see it, you know, so more people can experience Funimation, you know, on, on Crackle or PlayStation View. That would be nice to see, you know, give you know, more exposure to Funimation, you know, more, you know. I mean, I feel like that's probably what Sony's going to do with this buyout, you know, show, put, in, put it on those two services. Okay, and what does this mean for fans outside the U.S.? We are already delivered of anime to fans in the U.K., Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, to Funimation Now. The service, in, service through uh, to these regions will not change because of the deal. And the last one they ask, does this change our Crunchyroll X um, slash v -ver partnership? There are no changes in our existing partnership or in the content available from Funimation on either service. Crunchyroll will continue to broadcast subtitles, simulcast, Funimation will continue to stream simuldubs with ML styles within, you know, a week or two, two, within two weeks of the original Japanese broadcast. So, yeah. Um, overall, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is that, you know, Sony's going to put their nose in where it doesn't belong, you know, they're going to tell them, you know, they're going to make them, you know, um, you know, start, you know, maybe, like, up the price of their Blu-rays. Or, you know, some other ridiculous shit. If they don't, if they can kind of do it like Disney's, where they kind of, you know, put, like, Marvel shit on, like, at, at, like Disneyland and shit, with, like, at Funimation, you know, Crackle and Places in View, and maybe, and one thing I would like to see, maybe, but I highly doubt it could happen, is that my anime games that are, you know, because, you know, a lot of anime games, when they come to you, are usually Places exclusive. Maybe this might mean I'll start getting dumps for my anime games. I highly doubt that, because, I mean, like, literally, the only games that get dubs here, English dubs, is Dragon Ball, you know, Dragon Ball games, and uh, Naruto. Nothing else. Sword Art Online, no dubs. You know, uh, JoJo, no dubs. Attack on Titan, no dubs. Berserk, no dubs. Fi fi you know, um, Psycho Pass, no dubs. I mean, with Psycho Pass and uh, Fate and Berserk, I kind of think, because those games, those shows are not really that popular out there, especially Berserk. But SAO and JoJo, come on. But, yeah. That's like one thing I would like to see. Maybe with this partnership, Sony can use this money, could use that to acquire half a majority of thing of Funimation. Maybe they can make that they can start, you know, dubbing my anime games. I doubt it, but it would be nice to see. You know, I would like to see that. But that's like literally. Which speaking of Sony, I mean, I'm surprised actually. I'm surprised Sony and Sony's actually doing because as you guys may not know. Sony isn't doing so hot right now. I believe their movie division, or Sony themselves, has taken like a net loss of like $86 million. Don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure what the number was. But yeah, I mean, and, since, and we all know the Emoji movie isn't doing them any favors. Oh boy. In case you're wondering, no, I will, I will not see that movie unless it's up on Netflix. 
the emoji movie because it came out because I knew it was defending Sony movie division because you know me personally I liked Ghostbusters 2016 I thought it was good I liked it more, I, now it's now it's anywhere near the now is it as good as the first movie no but I think I liked it more than Ghostbusters 2 as well as you know and you guys know I love the Amazing Spider-Man movies Amazing Spider-Man is my favorite movie it's my ah, my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time yes I like it I don't like it a little bit like slightly more Spider-Man 2 but that's about it but yeah um that's why I, um. If, uh, what I would like to see from this deal is that maybe, you know, Funimation get pick up more anime, so, you know, they can actually start competing with Netflix and Amazon. Uh, they, had, they added to Funimation to Crackle and uh, Play in View, and maybe on some, maybe some miracle, so we might get, you know, we might get dub more dub, we might get dubs for, anim for our anime games other than, you know, start Naruto and DBZ. Which I like to see in, uh, speak of PlayStation, whew. And man, guys, um, oh yeah, let's uh, maybe this might help out Sony, because you know Sony isn't doing really PlayStation's the ones that's keeping Sony afloat these days. And man, I really hope GameStop doesn't go down. Really, I really hope GameStop doesn't close close down because of Sony. Because in case you guys don't know, this is completely off topic. But you know, uh, Sony's been having a lot of you know sales on their on PlayStation on the PlayStation Store recently. You know, they have like constant flash sales. They're pretty much kind of turning into Steam a bit with you know the constant you know sales. And I know that's, and I, and I wouldn't be surprised that's what's been really hindering on, you know, games, because games have, like, recently closed, like, 127 stores them, which, I really hope games that doesn't close down, because I know a lot of you guys might be cheering and be like, yeah, GameStop, it's finally getting rid of it, good riddance to them, but, because, you know, now I got a lot to deal with their, them, them shoving down their magazine, my throat, PlayStation, you know, power-up reward, but, me personally, I've always preferred games, so that's always where I pick up my games. Other than, you know, maybe a case picking them, on, uh, uh, picking them up on Amazon because, you know, cheaper prices. But I don't want but I don't really do that often because, you know, a lot of games on Amazon are, are locked behind, you know, their Amazon Prime paywall. This game is only available for Prime membership, so fuck you. Which I really do not like that, but whatever. Which I really hope games will close down because, I mean, come on. You, as much as you don't like GameStop, as much as you guys probably don't like GameStop, you got me. Their pre-order bonuses are fucking awesome. I mean, for Star Wars Online Hollow Reels, if you that, you got a steelbook with it. Uh, and Horizon Zero Dawn, you got, you know, the uh, new, uh, you got a couple skins with them. One of them was a car to skin, which looks really cool. And I believe for the last Guardian, you got, like, some of the, you got a part of the soundtrack for The Last Guardian. And, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2, you got, but you got, like, the Iron Spider suit, the black suit, I think the Cosmic Spider suit, and I think one more. I think it was, like, what was it, the Noir suit? I forget exactly which one, but, you know, the, I really hope games doesn't close it down, because I like it. It's the only other place, because it's, like, the only place that's made for games. I mean, come on, when, you, when I step into a game, zone, I know that I'm surrounded by games. I love games. The games are awesome. The employees are always nice. They never shove shit down my throat. At least I never had to deal with that shit, me personally, but I love, so yeah, guys. I love GameStop. I hope it doesn't close down. I hope it stays open forever, because I love, I, I, I fucking love their pre-order bonuses. Mm, they're so good. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, my, that's my thoughts on Funimation's, uh, being acquired by Sony. Hopefully Sony doesn't put their nose where it doesn't belong, they leave, they let Funimation, you know, uh, you know, do, let, you know, let Funimation be, let do Funimation do with themselves, you know, as if this only means that we're gonna get Funimation to pick up more anime, uh, you know, it ends up getting on place if PlayStation ends up becoming going on, you know, I mean, Funimation goes on to, you know, play, goes on to be part of Play and View or Crackle, we're gonna maybe more dubs for my anime games, which I would really like to see, but I highly doubt it's gonna happen. So yeah. Uh, that's what I'd like to see from this deal. Uh, just hopefully they don't, you know, tell them, you know, hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to jack up their Blu-ray price or anything. But yeah, overall, that's my thoughts. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it. And as always, come back for more.